everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we will discuss about how to set discounts on sales order. To manage with the discounts on sales order, you can just dive into the sales module and we just need to enable the discounts under the pricing sessions. So this would allow you to grant the discounts on the sales order line. And we know Odo offers several ways to apply the discounts on sales order, providing flexibility for various scenarios. So the discounts that can be applied on the sales order lines are global discounts, fixed discounts and discounts on all order lines. So once you have made the changes, you can just move on to the orders and you can choose the quotation. So here we just need to create a quotation from the scratch. For that, you can just click on new button. So as we have just enabled that feature from the configuration settings, you can see a button called discounts. This would allow, allow you to set different types of discounts in your order. So I'll be choosing my customer from here as Ami Watson and you can just choose the products. So click on add a product and uh, choose the different products. I would like to choose the products as apple pie. So as I just choose a product here, you can see that uh, the apple pie has a cost of $12 and a 5% days of taxes just applied, which is reflected here. So a total of 12.60 is the total amount by including the tax. Now I would like to add the other product as bacon burger. So as uh, you choose a bacon burger, you would be able to find that like we can just choose uh, the sides for this. So I would like to choose the side as smashed sweet potatoes and let me confirm that. So afterwards, you can see that, oh, it has got multiple taxes over here. I would like to choose a single tax. So I'll be removing all other taxes from here. Okay, fine. We have just removed all other taxes and you can see um, the taxes amount is just turned into 2.93 and uh, the total amount of the product is $27.50 and a total of 30.43. It's just applied here and you can also find the margin from here. Now, let me save this. Afterwards, we just need to apply the taxes in the order lines, right? So you can just go with discount button and uh, here we know that there are different types of discounts that we can just apply. So here we have the uh, discounts on uh, order lines. Then we have the other one as... Uh, uh, global discounts and fixed discount. So discounts on all order lines is used to set a uniform discount across the order. So this uh, discount will be applies on all order lines and it will be setting on percentage. So I would like to set a percentage of uh, 10 over here so that we are just going to apply a uniform discount on uh, the order lines. So here you can just click on apply. So as I just click on apply here, you can see that we have a field called discounts and a 10 percentage of discount is applied. And after discounting this 10 percentage, the amount is given over here, which is 10.80 and 13.95. Uh, so in this case, the discount will be only applied for the order line. The discounts won't be applied for the taxes. And you can see that uh, there is no change in the tax amount. Now, let me just change the discounts from here and uh, let me set it as zero. Okay. And we just want to apply the other discounts. So I want to apply a discount of uh, global discount. So as you just move on with the global discount, this would allow you to apply the discount on entire total. Okay. Uh, of the order total. And uh, uh, you can set the percentage of discount over here. And uh, uh, the thing is that when you apply the global discount, the discount will be also applied for the taxes. So when I'm giving 15, 50 percentage of discount as a global discount, this 50 percentage of discount will be also applied for uh, the taxes. Okay. So here you can see that the actual price of apple pie is $12 and bacon burger is $15.50. So a 50% of discount is applied and you can see that uh, the amount is just turned into 6 and 7.75. So um, the rest of the amount is just deducted because we are 
providing a 50 percentage of discount now as you just move on to the taxes here you can see that 50 percentage of discount is also applied for the taxes and the total amount is 15.22 over here okay now let me remove this taxes and i just need to apply uh, a fixed tax for the product so you can again choose that and uh, you can see that we can just go with fixed amount so uh, in order 18 we have a new field called taxes under the fixed amount discounts so if you want to apply a fixed amount of taxes uh, then you can also set the uh, the tax field into which you just need to apply uh, the discount so i would like to set uh, a discount of three dollar for uh, um yeah 15 percentage discount so let me apply that so as i just click on apply button here you would be able to find that there is no change in the uh, price of apple pie and we have only given a discount of three percentage and not three percentage three dollar for uh, the tax that is applied with 15 percentage so here you can see uh, the change that has made and uh, you can see that actually the total amount weighed 27 point something now it has just turned into 24.50 right so the uh, fixed discounts is applied for individual order lines and this deduct a fixed amount from the order total and yeah that's how we just deal with the discounts on order lines in Odoo 18 and that's all for today thank you for watching the video